two. I'm Emily Schmidt reporting. And we, of course, will continue to keep you updated on the situation in Oklahoma as more information comes in. Let's talk about some local news now. A teenage boy dead tonight, and police are still trying to figure out who's responsible. At about 3.30 this morning, Marvin Cottrell Jr. was shot and killed near 25th and Glendale. Fox 6's Brandon Cruz is live there tonight with the latest on this situation. Good evening, Brandon. Well, good evening. Yes, friends say Cottrell was just trying to break up a fight between two girls, and that's when some guys came along and opened up fire. Cottrell was killed, and now police are still looking for those involved. Call me mama. Keisha Brown is still in disbelief that 16 year old Marvin Cottrell Jr., who she treated like a son, was shot and killed early Monday morning near Ruby and Tatonia in Milwaukee. He had called me and asked me if I could pick him up and if he could spend a night because he didn't have nowhere to go. Brown says she always had her door open for Cottrell because she wanted to help him stay focused on school as he was a student at Career Youth Development School. He wanted to graduate school, and I told him. Go to college when you're done, <laughs> so life don't be so hard. He had goals he wanted to complete, but all that's done now. Morris Cottrell received the news around four Monday morning that his nephew had been killed. That put a void in my life right now. That's one less nephew I got to talk to. This all actually started over a female versus female breaker. We trying to break two females up, up from fighting. Fight. And my, and my, my friend get killed? Come oh, on. For nothing. For nothing. For nothing. For nothing. For nothing. A Marion Brown, Cottrell's close friend, was with him when the shooting began. I just saw my right hand catch two to his head right in front of me. No, they was just saying he shot or I didn't even know he was shot. And when I walked over there in the field, he was laying on the ground with a bullet in his head. Now Brown can only wonder why this happened to a young man she loved like a son. And I just feel like that's not fair. You know, and a lot of these kids need to put them guns down and pick up a book. Because what sense does it make killing each other? And police have been on the scene all day long as they still search for those suspects. His school today also brought in counselors for the other students and the faculty there as well. And tonight at 7, there will be a vigil here in Cottrell's honor. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brandon Cruz, Fox 6 News. Sad story. Brandon, thank you. Milwaukee police are also investigating a shooting where an off-duty Milwaukee...